I know that I'm going to get put onto some kind of respirator thing where I'm going to have a mask on my face and um, somehow it's going to tell me what my, my absolute maximum is and then from there I can kind of work out how to train a little bit. Better. So VO2 max mainly is obviously gathering your VO2 data which is your breathing capabilities but the most important factor by doing a VO2 max is to get your training zone. So generally VO2 max is a nice reading to have, but that's not the be all and end all. So from that we use those data to work our training zone so that your training can be more effective and efficient and thereafter getting better results. That's fine. So you'll start at a certain pace and we'll basically make you run faster and we'll just increase the speed every minute till a point where you can't face that speed anymore and you'll hop off the treadmill. So that's the runner, runner's perspective of the race. And then for us working out the zones, what we look at, we look at two very important points, which is the first point is the crossover point where you go predominantly from fat burning to carb burning. So that's a big crossover point for us to work our training zone. So that's your zone one and two mainly. And then from there we look at the next point, which a lot of people would know of your lactate point, that moment where you feel you don't want to run anymore but rather walk. So we get that point as well to work out your zone four and five. You're uncomfortable? You're hot. You've got 25 seconds to finish the stage. very different feeling to running normally on a, a road on that and as the speed was, was picking up I was like I could feel the suction while I was starting to just suck a bit harder. I, I, I felt like I recovered quite quickly after it so I, like while I was in that moment it definitely felt like the heart like it was really really hard but once it stopped and started walking I was like okay I feel fine now. Like. Yeah I think she did a great test I mean the effort was was pretty decent in the end and um, I think looking at her data, like really hitting above 50s, mid 50s in VO2 is a good value to start off with. And then from there we can actually work quite nicely with the results and really get her to, to run fast and strong.